Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Harmer. This is video 21, and today I have something actually very cool to show you. So if you want to watermark your songs, kind of have a sonic imprint in it, you can totally do that with Harmer. So I put together this little thing to showcase this, so check it out. So just that little loop there, I was able to sneak in this little picture here. This is John Audio. And if we go into the image tab, we can actually see it right here. And it's very easy to do this. So if you have a logo of your band or your artist name or something, literally all you have to do is drag and drop that file, that picture into Harmer right here. And then you do want to play with this core speed right here. So for example, the patch itself just sounds like this. It's almost like crickets kind of. But that's basically what this picture is going to sound like in audio. And with this core speed, if we drag this down to default, this about here, it's going to go very slow. That's why we want to speed it up, because it's going to be almost impossible to read like that. So let's bring this up as far as we can. And then there it is. Then we also have some fine speed, as we talked about before. And then what I did with this, too, because I have a little filter on here. So if I didn't have this filter on here or actually let's turn it the other way, there we go. We're gonna have all this nasty stuff in here that we really don't need, so I put a high pass and I kind of just kept carving until it just hit the bottom of the logo name right here, give or take, and that's really it. You will hear that sound, I mean obviously that's the picture sound, but you can also hide in the song a little bit and make it like an effect. And I went to the effects, I added a little bit of reverb and then in context it's gonna sound like this. <laughs> And one thing I think is really cool about this especially is a long time ago, it was really cool to record something and then play it backwards or try to sneak in weird hidden messages, kind of like the Led Zeppelin thing. And then you would listen to it backwards and you're like, wait, I think they're making some type of some type of hidden message if they play it backwards and it became a whole thing. Now, this is kind of similar to that, I feel, but it's actually, I think, a little bit cooler because you can design exactly what you want and then you can sneak it into different parts of your songs or something like that. So the creativity aspect of it is very high. I really wanted to show this and demonstrate this so you guys can maybe start doing it and maybe do it in a cool spot of your song or something like that. So definitely check out this image tab, drop your logo in there and kind of play around with the speed settings and so on and so forth. And also do some effects too because you don't want it so boring and kind of maybe tuck it in the mix a little bit because it can be a harsh sound if it's kind of too loud. Like that can be kind of painful. But if, but if you have it tucked in just a little bit down here. You can still make it out up here, and definitely if you bring it into an external program or some type of spectrum view, it's going to be very obvious. But in the mix, when you're listening to it, it's going to almost sound like an effect, like it's part of the song or something like that. Or you can just play it like once or twice or something like that and just sneak it into different parts. But yeah, so that's basically it. I kind of wanted to show you guys this example because I've been talking about it a little bit earlier in the course. So here it is, and yeah, it's pretty awesome.